When Sandy hit New York City, it was devastating. Last night, New York's rivers surged above the banks of lower Manhattan with a record 13-foot wall of water. In Manhattan, where I live now, Bellevue Hospital got flooded and they had to evacuate the patients. It wasn't safe for them to stay there. It really tore up the shores of New York City. It was a mess and um, I knew a lot of people where they're, they're homeless now. Sandy took away everything. Storms that come and hit that you're not prepared for can, can really be frightening. My name is Emily Baez. I'm from Manhattan, and this summer I'm working for the Nature Conservancy in New Jersey. I am Janina Georges, and I am here in LEAF with the Nature Conservancy. We are in Kingston, Rhode Island, and we're doing a lot of shoreline restoration and um, a lot of oyster reef restoration. Here's how it works. So oyster populations grow in dense accumulations. So the higher that these oyster reefs grow, the better protected the shorelines are from natural disasters such as hurricanes and all these super storms. You always need a backbone. The more oysters we have, the healthier the ecosystem is. I feel like the LEAF program has empowered me more than I'd ever thought. Before LEAF, I didn't really realize how nature protects us. Today, I planted American native beach grass, which will make sand dunes like more stable from storms. The dunes create a buffer that control the waves, it slows them down. So when storms hit, it doesn't affect communities as bad. I feel like it's really important to conserve nature. It's important to conserve what we have right now. Oysters do protect us in many ways. They have their reefs in small little areas around the water. And by doing so, they create these barriers for us and a backbone for us to rely on so they can sustain and help protect these areas. Nowadays, with things like global warming and pollution, we don't really take into consideration what nature offers us, but more like what we want and what we can take from nature. And that is not very good. That's why we have storms, like Superstorm Sandy. We can protect ourselves better by offering more knowledge to people on how to build like buildings and skyscrapers and like houses along shorelines. We can use natural barriers like sand dunes or reefs. Little things like that can have a big impact at the end of the day. Before the LEAF program, I was just a normal, regular kid. I didn't know anything about wildlife and like invasive species and forests and how it affects us and what big part it does play in our everyday life. It's just so different. It gives you this appreciation and it shows you things that you never really knew existed. So it's this whole new side to this beautiful planet that we have.